Welcome to one minute. What the hell? So here we are playing the uh, virtual boy again. We got that important message right there on the screen. Make sure you read the instruction booklet before you play the game. And then we have the famous virtual boy introduction right here. Of course, we got the automatic pause right here. Uh, just in case you start compulsing, you can actually pause the game or the game pauses by itself. Whatever the case may be. And this game is known as Vertical Force. Personally never played this game before. I don't even know what the hell it is. But we're going to check it out. Very, very cool title screen. I can imagine that the 3D effects on it would probably be pretty cool. Just, just to look at the title screen by itself. Look at that. So this game apparently has an option menu also, but it's called Config. Gives you a little idea of how to play this. You can see here we have stage number one. It's a little introduction right here. This appears to be like some type of a shoot 'em up game. Okay, there we go. So in order to shoot, you have to. Uh... Wow. So you can shoot at two, like two different levels. This game's actually pretty cool. Uh, if you push A, you actually have two different depths of level you can shoot at. So you can rise either above or below, depending on what platform it is. I usually do not like shoot 'em up games, but I'm going to say that this one right here, so far, appears to be quite fun. So the shoot button itself is the uh, left and right trigger, which is pretty cool. I would imagine that the, uh, the th 3D effects on this game are actually pretty cool. Looks like we have some type of a... Looks like some type of a mech robot. Okay. Well, the game was easy at one point, but now it's uh, starting to pick up a little bit. See, I always sucked at these games. I'm not sure if there's any other shooters available on the... Uh, on the Virtual Boy, but this one, uh, appears to be pretty decent. For the source, it's not bad at all. And what's nice about the shooters is you can power up your weapons. Uh, whatever I, whatever I have right now is working pretty well. I'm not sure what the hell it is, but... When you're fighting a boss, I guess the whole object is try not to be hit by bullets. Let's see, I destroyed the boss, yeah! See, that was only level one. That was, that felt like a big accomplishment for me. So... Moving on to the game right here. Looks like it's becoming a little bit more trickier. And once again, you have to play back and forth between the foreground and the background. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, that's gotta look awesome in 3D. Look at that. I guess that's the boss right there. I think we just killed the boss. I'll say, I can't stop playing this game. This game's actually pretty damn good. Uh, I never... I owned the Virtual Boy back in the day, but I never owned this game. Kind of regret not owning this game. This game is actually pretty cool. Now, I'm not big into shooters, so... For me, this one appears to be one that I can actually play, so... I would imagine that for those people that are hardcore into shooters, might consider this too easy. Uh, for me, it seems perfect. So, if you, I guess if you guys want an entry-level shooter, this will be definitely the one to check out. I'm going to say overall, the game is uh, pretty awesome. I would strongly recommend playing it on the Virtual Boy. If you own a Virtual Boy, definitely look for it. Or uh, add it in into your collection. The game is definitely awesome. It has plenty of different weapons, as you can see here. Uh, I must say, consider myself a fan of virtual uh, Vertical Force, that is. Vertical Force is a pretty awesome shooter, in my opinion.